Okay, had a bunch of Australians from Europe that were here. They left me their uh, bucket. So uh, I'm, I just changed out the bungee. They wanted the bungee back and they wanted the cord back. So what I'm gonna do now is they left me with some um, live bait. I'm gonna use that. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna. It's. Alright, thanks. Pull out a. We got a live and a dead goldfish in here. Pull out the dead one, put it in the cooler, because we're not gonna need that. Pull out uh, most liveliest one, which is this one, looks like. Alrighty, so we're gonna you seal the bucket. Okay, the bucket looks sealed. All right. Alrighty, so let's take this. Over to home base here. So I got everything all prepped here. Got my live bait needle. And I got my, this is what I call my sliding rig. I, I got a, I think that's a five odd, and I just put a loose five odd in there. It's gonna slide down. You see why in a moment. Got my bait needle here, light bait needle, with some. I use instead of thread, I use nylon casting line for my uh, light bait line. So we're gonna. What we're gonna do? To get this smaller lively one that's spraying my glasses at the moment. Alrighty, so that's what it's gonna look like. Even if it dies out there, it's still doing its job, but hopefully it stays alive. Alrighty, everything's all prefabricated ahead of time. Just gonna chuck this about, ah, just chuck it out. The 60 foot channel's right here. Don't have to go very far out, like so. I don't do it overhead because it's branches overhead. Just knowing your, your, the area you're working in. Always when I go somewhere new, I kind of take a look out where I can put my spice, where I can put my safety cords, obstacles like tree branches. You always got to understand your area before you fish it. So we're going to tighten this up, put the bell on, put the safety cord on, see what happens. Okay, winds are coming out of the south now. It's going to make it a little bit harder because I got to cast it over there.
All right.